The question is this, how can I create a recurring Zoom meeting? I'm going to show you two ways to do a recurring Zoom meeting. I'm going to show you one way to adjust a recurring Zoom meeting that you need to extend uh, to, to repeat it more often. So let's create a new meeting. I'm going to hit schedule a meeting. I'm going to call it test. I'm going to make it happen on Friday, the 29th at 11 a.m. I can't do it for an hour because I'm using free Zoom for this example. So I'm going to do it for 30 minutes. Get rid of that. I don't need to see that. Now, here's where I make a record. By the way, I also always want to, you know, make sure there's a password. I always want to turn on waiting room. Those are my basics that I always do. Now, I'm going to go here to recurring meeting and show you the two options. Option number one is I want to do this on every Friday, weekly, on Fridays. And now I want to extend it. How many times do I want to do it? If you choose a, a, a end date after X number of occurrences, on this interface, you can only choose up to 20. However, if you go over here and you choose by date, now I can go over here and I can extend this all the way out to November 8th, which is 59 occurrences. Now, I can also, if I want to, go back here and I can say I only want to do this to the end of the year, 14 occurrences, and now I can come down here and I can save this. And the moment you save it, what I recommend you do is stop and look at it. Don't move away so fast. Every Friday at 11 a.m., 14 occurrences. I can show all occurrences. I have a passcode, a waiting room, and there's the invite link. Copy that because you're going to need that if you want to share it with people. Um, and, then, and then before, once I confirm this is everything I want, now I can go back to my meetings. And you will see that there's a meeting on every Friday. A recurring meeting every Friday uh, for what was it, um, uh, 14 weeks. Now, option number two, let's say that's not enough. I need to make it longer. You got to edit all occurrences, not this occurrence, edit all occurrences. And you can see when I do that, click here and I can go and hit the right arrow. And I can extend, can I extend this out? Oh, wow. Well, yes, I can go all the way out to December 27th. And you can see at 60 occurrences, and now I can save that. And you'll see now that uh, the recurrences are 60. And if I go back to my meetings, you'll see that there are there's probably 60. Actually, I know for a fact there's 60 entries in here. Here it is, 60 results. Now, show you the other option, which may be a better option for recurring meetings, especially if you know you're going to do those for a long time in the future. Edit all occurrences and instead of doing recurrence weekly change that to no fixed time now when you do no fixed time it gets rid of the time it gets rid of the day it gets rid of the ending day and it's a, a recurrence is no fixed time everything else is the same when i save it now You'll see that everything is the same, passcode, waiting room, member, uh, meeting ID, the invite URL is all the same. The only difference is when I go back to my meetings, there's not an entry for each Friday. There's one entry, it's under recurring. And by the way, if you have a lot of meetings in your Zoom dashboard, you're going to have to scroll all the way to the bottom of the list to find recurring meetings because the ones that have individual dates are above in the, in the list under your Zoom uh, meeting calendar. I'm Teddy. I'm a LinkedIn and Google Workspace guy, but I use Zoom all day long and I love it. And I hope this is helpful for you.